Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something really cute and Japanese. So that's why I'm wearing my Kigurumi and sporting some Pokemon. So today we're going to talk about Pokemon celebrating 20 years of existence. This month, February 27th, Pokemon is going to be celebrating 20 years which is actually really, really cool. So I started following Pokemon around 98 when the first game came out in the States and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but I decided to take a chance on a game and see if I was going to I mean, like the whole series and everything. And now years and years later, technically 18 years later, I am still very much addicted to Pokemon in every single way. So with Pokemon, oh, how's it going now? Um, with Pokemon, it's been it's been kind of crazy because um, when I got into it, I I got the Game Boy game and I bought Pokemon Red and I wasn't sure how everything was gonna be, especially because I wasn't really into RPG games at the time and I was more into like fighting games and other stuff and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep uh, the handheld system at all because I was thinking of going more into con like bigger consoles and stuff that was like stuck to a TV. But I really, really liked Pokemon. I, I got it and I played through it and I beat the game in no time, which is crazy. And then I went back to the store and I tried to buy Pokemon Blue and it wasn't available anywhere, which was nuts. Because I didn't think this game was going to be this popular. And pretty much from then on, it just kind of exploded, which was the crazy part. Then I wanted to find out if there were any mangas, if there was any uh, card games, I mean, just anything that was related to Pokemon. It was just this hunger for Pokemon that I just, I, I couldn't stop, which was kind of nuts. So years and years later, uh, now, especially last year, uh, last uh, October and November when I was in Japan, I decided that I wanted to check out uh, all the Pokemon centers while I was there, which was something that I had always wanted to do because if you play the game, you get really excited with the Pokemon Center. Like you take your Pokemon to the Pokemon Center and you get, I mean, you get your Pokemon like fixed up and everything. And then you can go to like the Pokemart and then you can buy stuff and everything. And these Pokemon Centers in Japan felt very much like that, which was something that was really cool to experience when you were there because we don't really have any of those here. New York had something like that a while back, but when Pokemon started to kind of die off here in the States, it didn't die off in Japan. So Japan actually kept all these places around, which was actually really, really neat. So I was able to visit three of them while I was in Japan. And there's more than three, but I was able just to do three during the 14 days that I was there. And they were so much fun. I have videos of them. I will post the links on the bottom if you want to go see those videos. So with Pokemon, I've collected cards, all the games. I even had uh, the one of the, the Game Boys, the, the special edition Game Boys for the, the Game Boy Advance that came out. I, I ended up ordering that from Japan. I've had this multitude of Pokemon everything. I mean, it's just pretty much eaten Pokemon for years and years and years. And I can't say I'm ashamed of it, really. I mean, I'm in my, my early 30s now, and it's really weird to say like, hey, uh, I'm still very much in love with a game that was made for kids. But the thing is, is there is something that's really awesome about that game and about the world of Pokemon that just makes it really neat and something that you can relate to because um, I got into Pokemon because I really like characters and I like the whole idea of raising a character, being your friend and battling and all that stuff. I mean, the characters technically didn't die, so it wasn't gruesome. So it was just, it was really cool. It was very 90s. So all these like 90s things, like 90s kids grew up with this, this, and this because Pokemon and like Tamagotchi and all those kind of went along side by side because you were taking care of things. Same thing with Digimon, which I still like. I mean, all these shows that are coming, like either come back or they're, they're still around and it's just still like this big thing. So now that we're going to be celebrating Pokemon 20, I mean, the 20 years of Pokemon, it's, it's really neat. Um, in Japan, they're going to be doing a lot more stuff than they're going to be doing here. Here, I plan on going to Toys R Us because they're going to be doing some events. So make sure that you check your local places and toy stores and game stops and everything to see what they're offering. And of course, go to the Pokemon website and they will tell you what events are going on. And new 3DSs are coming out in time for this event. Uh, there's um, the 3DS XL, 
which has the the red and the blue, so it's got Charizard and Blastoise, which is actually really neat. I'll probably pick up, pick up Charizard because it was my first uh, Pokemon, and I, I love fire. Fire everything is really awesome, and Psychic are like my favorite ones. And the other ones that were going to come out in Japan, I'm not 100% sure if we're getting them, but I know Japan is going to get them, the 2DSs that are going to be all special edition. I want to get one of the, the 2DSs because they are region coded, well, especially Japan, Japanese ones are going to be region coded. I want to get one, especially the green one, so I can play games from over there. So, I mean, everything just, if I start thinking about it, I mean, like, I get really excited because it's, it's pretty much like, I feel like a giant kid doing this stuff and I hope other people get the same joy that I get out of grabbing a handheld and and thinking back like the 90s like this late 90s like I could stay there and just play for hours and then you hear about the new games coming out and then you hear about Pokemon Go which I am so excited for that so if you guys are going to be playing that game just just tell me because I would love to like battle with you guys however this this game is going to work um, I will travel places to go get specific Pokemon because it looks like it's going to be a blast and I can't wait for that. And I would love to meet a bunch of other people that are into it. I celebrated my 18th birthday with a Pikachu cake and some Pikachu stuff, which I don't know if to be ashamed or be excited to tell you this, but um, I ended up making the cake with my mother, which was something that was really cool. And um, I still remember it. And you know what? It's like, yes, 18, you're an adult and you should be growing out of all this kid stuff. But I just really liked it a lot. So I kept it with me. And the thing is, is I love art and I love to draw. And the, the mangas that I collected for Pokemon really helped me draw a bunch of just different things and I wanted to create uh, creatures like Pokemon had and all these worlds and, and just everything. It was a very creative world and I totally saw what this the artists that were creating this like wanted to make and, and it just as a person that likes to create stuff it, it makes you feel really connected with it which is really cool. So I wanted to ask you guys if you guys are going to be doing anything for the 27th of February to celebrate the Pokemon craziness and um, and what do you like best? What is your favorite Pokemon? For me, I would say Abra is my favorite one. It is one of the original ones, but I was addicted to having that character. I thought it was super cute. I didn't want to let it evolve even though it didn't do a whole lot apart from teleport when I got it, but it was just adorable. And of course, Pikachu has always been up there with all the other ones just because it's a main character and I like seeing it and Charizard just because I love dragon characters and fire. <laughs> What's your favorite game? I love the old Pokemon card game that was for the Game Boy Color. I still play it every once in a while and I think it's it's a blast. I can't wait till they release something for the 3DS. I have a version of a 3DS Pokemon card game that was a promo that came out a while back and it was actually really cool but it was only for Japan and I don't know why we didn't get any of it, but it's really, really fun. I'm really glad that the Pokemon card game can be played on the iPad, and that is the closest to playing the actual game. I still play the card game, so if you do, and you wanna meet up sometime, and you wanna play, just find me, because I would love, love to play the card game with other people. I play it here, uh, not really tournaments, I just go to a couple of things here and there, especially when they're doing pre-releases. I go to that, so if you wanna find me, and you wanna just hang out and play some Pokemon, and just be total kids about it, then that would be awesome. So tell me why you like Pokemon, and why it makes you happy, and what you're gonna do on the 27th, so be sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you guys next week. Bye.